So, my hundred year old cookware. The real stuff. This is, I don't know, it's got like some Nazi symbol on it. China top brand. See, saute, you put it in there with butter? I think so. No. <laughs> Not yet. I'm just trying to melt the butter just so the chicken doesn't stick. Okay. Plus a little fat adds a little extra flavor. It doesn't hurt. Well, a little under half cup of each. So that whole thing right there is all two cups? No, that's one cup. One cup? Well, a half cup of in kitchen just because it takes a lot of time. But what I do before, like, you're going to cook something down for a while. Mm-hmm. You want the skin to look brown. You don't want it to look just pale or weird. You know, so you give a little browning on it. Let it sizzle, catch a little color, and then what it does is it caramelizes on the bottom and then kind of deglaze it later. Okay. Yeah, so vinegar is something you get a lot of extra flavor on the bone that you know normally takes an hour or two to seep out in minutes. Butter the chicken. Butter. More chicken. butter. <laughs> Butter, Need more butter. Let's see what we're gonna do. Uh, fatty. That's the bone. Oh, that's I all see. Bone right see, that's part of the spare rib. This is all like the side of the bacon. So it's called side pork. It's just not cured or flavored or anything. Okay. Really. So just you know that pure. That's why it's like so glistening compared to bacon. But this right here, it's been tossed in. Later we're gonna remove that piece. Um, That's just for flavoring. Yeah, just for kind of a flavor. See how it's getting kind of a little crisp up. Okay. The reason you don't want to put too much butter in. Because you know, once this stuff kind of cooks a little bit, that fat comes out, and you get that natural edge. Okay. So, not too much butter. Side pork. You kind of want to do just a simple, you know, one inch. You can go all the way and cut them in half and half little bits, but when you have something that's got that much fat, you need to you know, really kind of keep it down like that. Probably should have thrown that one in there right away. <laughs> But oh well. Ooh, look at the skin on it too. And another trick to cutting this, if it's too hard and too mushy for you, freeze it a little bit. Yeah, cause just. I was trying to tell that to um, Sharon about cutting those chicken. She's like, it, it's hard to cut them when it's like you know soft. I'm like, well, cut them when it's still frozen. So whatever that was in here, put mm -hmm. in here. I'm gonna put like a little bit of water in there too. More water? Uh, and we got the bit mix. Let's see here. Bay leaf and black peppercorn or something like that. Yep. Let's grab that. Or are you gonna use green? And sugar? Sugar. Oh, I didn't see that. I was like touching it. <laughs> and then I didn't just let it simmer for. Oh, Brian, this is brining? Oh, uh, this is. You know, you can let it sit in the marinade for a while. What I like to do is I, I put the oven to 350 and just kind of let it soak it in there. Okay. And just kind of keep checking it, keep adding water, making sure it doesn't get too thick. But, the other fun part. I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to use black pepper. Black pepper. I mean, there's nothing to fish out later. It's fine. I always add more water, too. And there we got right, just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit. And... Bailey. Oh yeah, garlic. Oh yeah, I can't that. Usually, nor usually crush up garlic, but I really don't do a shit today. <laughs> Just a 
Well, now I know that you can still substitute whatever. It yeah. still works. Yes, can you work with what you got? Take that. Dutch oven. <coughs> Boom. And into the oven at 350. And then we put the timer on for about a half hour and check it in 30 minutes. You can see the sauce is thickening up but the fat's melting into it. And I cover it, put it in for about another 20 minutes, half hour. What you do, what you just do is basically flip it. Yeah, you just want to move it around so you can get um, more of the fats and the juices back okay. into the other parts of the chicken so it doesn't sit up there and just dry out. <laughs> Instead of just one yeah. part that's marinated? Yeah. Well, unless you, you know, marinate it overnight, then... Most of the house, it's got a red light on it. Take a left, and then you'll see a Scott Walker sign. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a Scott Walker sign on both sides of the street. Where do I go? <laughs> you see him everywhere. What the fuck? <laughs> Is it Scott Walker? They're all down the street. Yeah, right. <laughs> like at the White House, the Scott Walker sign. You know, with the black vehicle in front? right off the bone. And that's how you make Filipino adobo. Adobo. Not mistaken for the Mexican adobo. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs>